take a look at the right hand for the second page of Adagio Sostenuto. We're going to start off by kind of continuing a little phrase from the previous page. We had just played. Now here's the chord that we start off on on the, on the second page. We have three notes. Our thumb will be on G sharp above middle C. Our three finger will be on C sharp above that. And then our little finger on E. This is a dotted quarter note. Followed by eighth note, our two finger can play B sharp, which really is C. Then our three finger will go straight to C sharp. These are all eighth notes to finish the, the measure. Then thumb B, then two finger C, and then thumb A sharp. So I love that sequence. This is the next measure. It's another 3-2 measure instead of 4-4 four, four like the rest of it. It seems like to do that occasionally in this song. Uh, it starts off with an 8th note chord. Our thumb will be back on the G sharp above middle C and our 2 finger can play B. Then we have an 8th rest where our right hand doesn't play anything. Then our 4 finger can hop up to the G sharp this is two G sharps above middle C. This is a quarter note tied to an eighth note, so it's held for a beat and a half. Then we're going to finish the measure with eighth notes. Repeat the G sharp again. Then three finger F sharp, four finger G sharp, G sharp again, pinky on A, three finger F sharp, two finger E. You will recognize that theme. So this measure sounds like rest. Now third measure, we're going to play a half note tied to a eighth note chord. Thumb on B, two finger or three finger on E above that, and then four finger or pinky on the G sharp. We repeat that same theme again in eighth notes for the rest of the measure. G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. You can play that with three and four, uh, three fing four finger and two and three finger, and then G sharp again, A, F sharp, and then E sharp, which is really F. So that. That theme takes a little bit of a change at the end of it. Then we're on the second line. We're going to play F sharp, probably with the three finger. It's a half note tied to an eighth note. And then we're going to go on to finish the measure in eighth notes. Four finger can play G sharp, two finger E, thumb D sharp. Now we're on the second measure. Two finger will play E for a half note. Then we're going to go ahead and finish out the measure. These are still three two measures uh, with playing octaves. So our right hand is going to play D octaves. The thumb will be on the D an octave above middle C and the little finger on the D above that. And these are quarter notes. Then we're going to do C sharp octaves, but also with our two finger playing E to go along with it. Now the E is a half note. So when we go on to the next octave, our two finger has to stay on the E. And then our next octave will be B. So the E is continued during that B. Then, next measure, we're going to move on to A sharp octave, um, and our three finger will play the E again. The E again is a half note, so it gets held when we go to our next octave, which is A. Then, we're going to play the same A octave, but this time our three finger will play D sharp. And again, a half note, so it gets held. 
This is a quarter, dotted quarter note this time. And then we're going to play G sharp octave, eighth notes. But still holding that D sharp. Hopefully that's understandable. Then we finish the line with another eighth note octave, still the G sharp. Then we have an eighth rest where our right hand doesn't play anything. Then let's go on to four finger on G sharp. That's a quarter note tied to an eighth note. We're going to finish the measure with the eighth notes in that theme. G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, A, F sharp, E. Now we're back to 4-4 four, four time. We're going to do the third line. We're starting with G sharp, half note tied to an eighth note. Um, then we're going to play eighth notes to finish the measure. F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. I just play that with three finger and four finger. Second measure, G sharp. Again, a half note tied to an eighth note. Then we'll finish with eighth notes. We can jump our three finger down to D, just an octave above middle C pretty much. Then four finger E. Three finger D. Now we're back to a 3 2 measure. Um, we're going to start off with um, a couple of eighth notes. Our two finger will play C sharp, an octave above middle C, but our thumb is going to play A. Now the A is a whole note. Now, since this is a 3 2 measure, it means it's going to be held for two thirds. No, like two thirds of the measure? Yeah. So the A will stay, and our upper fingers will go on to play D, those are eighth notes. Then four finger will play E, this is a quarter note tied to an eighth. We'll finish the measure with eighth notes. Another four finger on E, three finger D, four finger E. Then we're going to, we've now finished out that whole note A that we were holding with our thumb. So we're going to move our thumb to G sharp just below that and play it along with an eighth note E with our forefinger. Now this is a half note that we're playing with our thumb so it will get held for the rest of the measure. Five finger plays F while the thumb continues to hold. Three finger well, or four finger can do D sharp. Oh sorry. Uh, it's actually just D, so three finger D. And then two finger C sharp. Last measure of the line, we're going to play half note chord. Thumb will be on A above middle C, and the four finger will be on the E above that. Now, after the half note, the four finger will continue to hold the E while the thumb goes down to G, not G sharp. Then we're going to finish with some eighth notes while the thumb holds the G, because that's the half note. We're back in a 4-4 four, four measure. The three finger is going to play D sharp, and then four finger E, three finger D sharp. Now, let's do, you know, I haven't been playing what the lines sound like. Well, I'll play the whole page after this, and then we can get a better sense of it. Let's start the fourth line with a dotted quarter note chord. The thumb will be on G sharp above middle C. Four finger to play the E above that. Now I think you could use your two or three finger. I'm going to use my two and play um, some eighth notes. We're going to start with B sharp which of course is actually C. Then C sharp. I'm going to use three finger for that and I'm going to use my two finger for B and then three finger C, then I'm going to use two finger A sharp, and then we're going to another 3-2 measure. We can cross our thumb up to B, and then I'm going to use my four finger to go up to the G sharp above that. Um, that was a, the B was a quarter note, and then we're going to a quarter note tied to an eighth note, and we'll finish out the, the measure with eighth notes in that familiar theme. G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, A, F sharp, E. Then 
Last measure of the line, G sharp again, half note tied to an eighth note, finish out the measure with eighth notes, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, A, F sharp, E sharp. Now the last line, we're going to go ahead and move our thumb down. The thumb will play A, and the three finger or the four finger can play F sharp above that. So it's a big stretch. That's a half note chord. Then, after that, the thumb will move to C, but we're still going to hang on to the F sharp at the top for another eighth note. So this is still being held. Then, you'll hold your thumb on the C, because this is a half note, while your top fingers play G sharp, E, D sharp. I just use my four finger and three finger and two finger there. Then, second measure, we have quarter note chord, B and E. So I'll play B with my thumb and E with my three finger. Then, we're going, that's a quarter note chord. We're going to move on to another quarter note, B above that. Now these are, um, the notes have a line above them, which kind of means you want, they want you to emphasize them and have a little space in between. Then, we're going to follow that up with some more eighth notes. Um, four finger can play A sharp, then three finger G sharp, repeat the G sharp, four finger A sharp. Now we're moving on to the new measure. Thumb will play B above middle C, and three finger can play F sharp above that. Now the thumb is holding a half note. The, the upper fingers are going to move to G sharp. And then we're going to change the thumb to A sharp. And the upper finger, three finger, can play E. Thumb will hold A sharp, it's a half note. The right hand, the, the upper finger is playing the dotted quarter. And then we'll change to a D sharp for an eighth note. Then, last measure of the page. We're going to do quarter note chords. Thumb will play B. Three finger can play D sharp above that. Hop down. And we're going to do thumb on D sharp, three finger F sharp. And then I do thumb on C sharp and two finger on E. And then back to thumb D sharp, three finger F sharp. Okay, now let's, let's listen to how the whole page sounds. Starting at the top. That's the right hand for the second page.